All right, I'm going to answer the viewer question. Uh, this time it's going to be on uh, copying websites for maybe like offline storage or viewing. Uh, we're going to use this program called what is it, Web HT Track. And it's just going to open into your default web browser. Uh, if you have any trouble with it starting up or whatever, you might have to close up all the other tabs and maybe disable temporarily your ad blocking. Okay. But anyways, this is the interface and you select your language that you want here. So let me see here, the language, right? And then you hit next. Here you're going to fill out some information. I'm just going to call it, I don't know, YouTube or something. And this one, uh, I guess just call it project, right? Uh, some other information or what do you want to save it to? Uh, you select the path that you want. The default is in your home folder websites. Change it if you like. But anyways, just hit next. Here you're gonna fill out some information about uh, or some actions you want to do. So let's say you want to uh, what they got here. They got download websites, uh, websites with questions, some other crap. I'm not sure. But we're just gonna download the website. Okay. I guess you can type it out manually here if you like, but you can also uh, add like this for like I guess for authentication, like you know your login, your password, if you have it for that site. But I'm gonna use my blog for this example, so click OK. And well, I guess you can just type it out manually. Why the hell they have two of these for? Let's delete that sucker. Uh, so that's what they got. Other other things you can do is if you have like a list of websites that you want to grab uh, from a text file, I guess you just type in the path of that text file, and it'll grab all the the, the websites. Okay. And here's some extra, I guess, advanced user things that you can do. Like if you want to use a proxy, what is it here? If you want to pretend you're something else, like you know your Firefox or maybe uh, Internet Explorer or whatever you can do from here and some of these other things I'm not really sure limits I believe this is like bandwidth yeah or size or whatever and what is this other one here well it's up to you to try that I'm not gonna waste my time on that but that's it you just hit next now and this is where they give you like a confirmation blah 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 do you want to start yes start and there you go now it's gonna do its thing all right uh, so just wait to it's finished and you should have like the whole thing uh, from your hard drive but we don't have that much time I'm just gonna wait for a few more seconds and I'm gonna abort it and hopefully we have enough content to view this okay so you can see that it's, da it's going to my um, was it Blogspot or Blogger account, and it's just uh, downloading all the uh, the images and the HTML content that I have on it. Uh, that's mainly what it's doing. So I'm gonna abort it now, okay? But you know, for you guys, you're gonna have to wait until it's completed. But here we go. We open our website folder. And the YouTube name that I gave it is right here. Uh, and here's the index uh, .html that I have, and this goes to my website, right? Um, it doesn't download the YouTube video because it's not like on the website. The only thing that's on my website is the content and some pictures. So this is the content of the uh, HTML file, and this is the the images that was uh, on there. So if I click on here, this one should you know be on your hard drive, and it is. So it says file, blah blah blah. Uh, so that's that. Um, so that's how that works. Now, if you want to install this, I believe I installed it two things, but I'm not sure if you need both of them. Okay. All right, so there you go, and you'll search for HT Track. 
this one is the command line version and this one is the the web uh, version UI that you know that we were using I believe you need both but I'm not sure I guess just try uh, you know the web tr uh, HT track and if it's not working then you have to install this uh, command line version also but I installed it both just in case so that's it all you gotta do is uh, install those and it's from your repository so it is a trusted source I guess if that's what you, that wor that what worries you anyways that's it for this one hopefully that answers your question um, that's it